Dear friends, I want to reflect upon what happened today at the border between India and China. It's called the line of actual control in Ladakh, the northeastern part of India. There was a firefight and 20 Indian soldiers, including a colonel, was killed in the firefight. Uh, there are reports of Chinese casualties. We do not fully understand or know to what extent uh, China has uh, suffered casualties and fatalities in this encounter. But coming to the, the point of the conflict itself, there are some key questions that we really need to answer. Is this local and retail geopolitics or is this part of some grand strategy? Why is China provoking India in Ladakh? I feel that the provocation has come from India. There are three reasons why China must be feeling provoked by India in the Ladakh region. First, the road that India has been building in Ladakh, the Dalat Beg Oldi, is a war infrastructure. It enables India to move military assets to the line of actual control, essentially to the border with China, and therefore threatens China. The second thing is that India, after altering the status of Kashmir, making Ladakh a state has been threatening to recover what Indians call as Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, which is essentially a Chinese asset. China has invested billions of dollars uh, in building a highway through that region to Pakistan. It's investing billions of dollars uh, in building a harbor and a new city in Pakistan. In many ways, China is colonizing Pakistan. And all these assets of China are endangered by India's threat to forcibly take back uh, Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. And the third thing is that there is much talk now about a partnership between the United States and India. It is often talked in terms of Indo-Pacific strategic partnership. The idea is that India aligning with the US, with Japan and Australia will box China and contain China. So this whole idea of a Cold War uh, between China and the rest of the world uh, is being envisaged in this strategic initiative. And India is the key to this Indo-Pacific strategy of the United States to potentially contain China's maritime domination of Asia and from there on to Africa. So if China feels that what India is doing in Ladakh is essentially something that the US is pushing it to do, then pushing back against India is not pushing back against India, but essentially pushing back against the United States and its strategy of trying to box China. In the last six months, we have seen some aggressive rhetoric from Washington, especially from President Donald Trump against China. So I wouldn't blame China if China feels that perhaps this is part of the global game in which the United States is trying to isolate China and box it. So in that sense, what India was doing in Ladakh could have threatened China, and that is why it moved in with such a major military presence into the other side of the line of actual control. But the second thing is that in the long term, if you look at it from a grand strategy perspective, I don't think it is in China's interest to escalate the battle. It is not in India's interest either. India is not as powerful as it thinks. India was embarrassed in its recent encounter with Pakistan just a few months ago when it lost one of its jet fighters. India is not as strong militarily, nor is it economically strong enough to stand up to China. India is not even a dominant player in South Asia, while China has become the second most powerful global power. So there is no contest really there. And if there is an escalation, then India will be forced to align with the US. What India wants from the US is very clear. India wants US technology. India wants to trade with the US. India wants weapons and weapons technology from the US. India wants financial assistance and international legitimacy from the US. Yet, India also wants to maintain its foreign policy independence from the US. It does not want to become a US lackey. It does not want to become essentially a client state of the United States doing whatever Washington wants it to do. So India wants to essentially walk this tight rope. I benefit from this relationship, but I'll give you very little. But if it is threatened by China and a war with China will push the Indian government to align more closely with the United States, and maybe then India will lose its foreign policy autonomy and will have to listen to Washington more 
because its security dependence on Washington would increase. Does China want to do that? I don't think so. As of now, India-China trade is thriving. They are close to $100 billion in trade. Uh, the relationship are peaceful. There has been no conflict in 45 years. This is the first uh, casualty or fatality in an Indo-China conflict. So China and India both stand to gain through trade. They could become each other's biggest partners with two and a half billion people between them. They would not need anybody else to become great economic powers. So in the long run, it is neither in China's interest nor in India's interest uh, for India to become more closely aligned with Washington than it is at the moment. So I think that there is hope and reason and logic for de-escalation. If India will make some concessions to China in Ladakh arena, which means whatever is threatening China, India pulls back, then I think China will not escalate. But however, if India thinks that it is a major power and it wants to have a confrontation with China, then I think that the net result will be the emergence of a very powerful Cold War between China and the United States with India becoming a client state of the United States. I, I don't wish to see that outcome. I think India has a great opportunity to focus on its economic development, to focus on enriching and making its own democracy stronger. Uh, and by contrasting its democracy with China's autocracy, India can make friends all over the world and become a truly important player on the global stage. Even the fact that I can tell you how many Indian soldiers died and I can't tell you the f how many Chinese soldiers died contrasts the democracy in India with the absence of democracy in China. But the key is to diplomatically de-escalate. The current government in India is prone to making uh, bravado statements. They like to brag a lot. I hope that their attitude that they have does not impede their ability to make uh, sensible diplomatic decisions.